DJ TV. Issues are clear. Uh, there has been this, I believe, something we can call a propaganda or consistent misinformation that back in 2017, Mazen Namdekano jumped bail and therefore he deserved what he got. That's wrong. He never jumped bail. He was a bail and bond, subsisting, extant, and valid as of 10th September to 14th September 2017, when the e military attacks were launched against him, unjust unjustifiably so. And anybody that uh, really um, saw the magnitude of that attack would agree that it was directed primarily at one thing, extrajudicial elimination of Martin Nandekano. Now, if you're free on bond, there's no law that requires you to sit like a, a log of wood while someone is levying attacks on you. And these attacks came from the complainant herself, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You already had him under your jurisdiction. He was before court of competent jurisdiction and he was out on bail. So what do you expect him to do in the face of those lethal attacks? He was going to, of course, look for ways of fleeing from the attack, considering the fact that he didn't possess any weapons or any military armaments to repel or defend himself. The next natural thing for him to do as a human being uh, who is guided by the law of self-preservation was to move away from the locale of the attack, and that's what he did. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, having not succeeded in extrajudicially killing him in 2017, he then pursued him to Kenya in hot pursuit. See, this, these are the issues. They have to be clear. You pursued him from Isiama Afaruku Ibe in Abia State to Kenya. And when you got him in Kenya, instead of giving him his rights, under the Kenyan law and under international law, you rendition him in an extraordinary way. Extraordinary rendition is inherently a form of torture. It is prohibited within the framework of municipal and international laws. And those international laws, Nigeria is a state party. Nigeria herself has an extradition act. If you rendition somebody, from the Federal Republic of Nigeria to a foreign nation. You've broken the laws of the Federation of Nigeria. And that is why America, that has an interest in having Abakari be brought to the United States to answer to some charges applied to the Nigerian government to approve his extradition. So the question is, why didn't the Nigerian government do? Nambi Kanu makes his request from the DSS detention to his followers and ask them to obey. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the location you're watching us from. Very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update, the world of channel where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. If this is the first time I've seen any of our video, do take a step for that, subscribe and turn on notification bell, so you could be one of the first ones to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's go straight up into the main news. The embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazunam Dikanu has made some requests from the DSS detention ahead of his court appearance on Thursday the 21st of October 2021 with the federal government. The Biafran agitator Mazunam Dikanu who is built to resume in court on Thursday the 21st October for the charges brought against him by the federal government requested that his followers join him in prayer and fasting. He also warned that none of his lawyers should be harassed either physically or virtually on the social media space. 
The separatist leader Mazlan Bikanu vowed that he won't forgive anyone that claimed to be his supporters or followers and go against his directives. Mazlan Bikanu made his mind known after a meeting with his team of lawyers at the Department of State Service DSS headquarters in Abuja where he is currently in detention. According to the statement made by his lead counsel Ifan Ejiofo, Mazuna Bikanu requested that the fasting, supplication and prayer should continue as he noted that they are strongly imparting positively. In the interim, it is necessary to pass the following urgent and important messages which are Oyendu made it categorically clear that none of his lawyers should be harassed, threatened or accused by anyone claiming to be his supporter or followers. Regardless of the person's tie with him, he was very particular about those who find it convenient to insult his Antonis via their live social media platforms. Our client, Mazi Unabikanu, emphasized that he trusts his lawyer and continues to have high confidence in them that anybody engaged in such harassment, threat, or unfounded accusation directed against his lawyer is definitely working against him and that he shall never forgive such a person and shall internally see such person as his enemy that any such threat harassment and false accusation against any of his lawyers should be seized forthwith of course djmtv news has earlier reported that mazo namdikano will be facing trial on the 21st of october 2021 and pending to um this trial that the federal government will be carrying out on the 21st of october um a lot of video have been coming up saying that mazuna bikanu is a free man the federal government doesn't have anything against mazuna bikanu and um we ran into this short video that we would like the viewers to watch where mazuna bikanu has said that he owes nothing to the federal government he has done nothing to the federal government and the federal government um, is the one who should be afraid and scared of him the federal government should be the one who should be running not him so let's watch this video we'll be right back yes yes Son is published by Nibo Man, is that correct? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. They are doing more damaging work than I was at Fulani. Through misinformation and lying. Are the ones who are breaking the law, not me? You can see the lies they are publishing about me and my POD. Me and Buhari, who should be afraid of each other? Me and the zoo police, who should be afraid of each other? The zoo police! Me and the zoo army, who should be afraid of each other? The zoo army! How dare somebody publish that I'm in hiding? Who is that in church? Come on, I can go for the other one. What you like? What are you doing? 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 What are you that Biafra leader on the run. From Son and Abosa. That is zoo challenging for you. That is why we have our own radio Biafra. That is why we have our own Sassan television. That is why we have Biafra television. Because of lies and deception. I can stand and prove who I am, but Buhari cannot do the same thing. Yes. Because the man you are looking at on the television is not Buhari. Yes. Don't you know that? Yes! Don't you know that? Yes! yes. 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 His name is Jibril, he's from Sudan. 
after extensive plastic surgery, they brought him back. Taught him the marriage mannerisms. And he came and deceived all of you. You cannot deceive a number, can you? You cannot deceive a human being. You are also devil. It wasn't my wish to speak. But the more I keep quiet, the more they keep lying. I will tell this. That is why I must speak. Yes. Why? I must defend IPOB. I am under oath to defend IPOB and I will do it. And we are with you, sir. We are with you for the call. We are with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. It's no surrender. Don't mind the lies they are telling you. Bunch of lies. If I have something to say, I will say it live. Yes. As is happening now. People want to sell their newspapers, they fabricate nonsense. I have spoken to one of some newspaper journalists this morning. I have told them that some of you evil people are the delay and the Afra is experiencing. It is our suffering and I can fight them to stand still. Some of you evil men and journalists are the problems we are having. Look at what the newspaper editor published for public consumption. They were writing about Benjamin in our water. Is he the Biafran leader? No. The editor of the newspaper is a little bit man. We can the editor of the same newspaper. And some of you wonder why you don't have good roads, why you don't have good schools, why you don't have employment, why things are terrible. Because the people that you expect to guide and to mold opinions of the people, they are criminals. They are liars and vagabonds. Yes, yes. Yesterday, they wrote another rubbish. I was told by a punch newspaper. You know that they said there's something in police uh, everywhere. In case I want to escape. Do you see how stupid people are? <laughs> Do you see how useless people actually are? Do you see why I castigate black African people? Do you now understand it? Yes. yes. Because they are stupid. Yes. Very useless. I wasn't afraid of Duhan inside his law court. One dollar can kill him in prison. It's now that I'm in my father's lockdown. Hey, hey. That's how I can try. So, how are you? Yeah. Hey. Fruits. Don't be afraid of anybody. Uh. We are the friends. People should be afraid of us. Yes. Yes. We are IPOB. People should be afraid of us. Yes. Because after this encounter, the zoo can never be the same again. Yes. 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 That is the worst mistake Buhari ever made was to arrest me. Yes. The worst mistake ever. What is going to happen? 
I am taking IPAB to Abuja on the 17th of which we case. We are with you, sir. We are with you. There will be two million people in Abuja. Yes. Two million. I will be there. I will be there. I will be there with you, sir. I will be there. I will be there. Hey. We take a battle to our enemies. Yes, sir. <laughs> and let me make this very clear to you, you are under oath. Yes. And by virtue of that oath, you are under direct order from me. Yes. yes. Any day you wake up, you hear I've been arrested, born Nigeria down. Yes, yes, sir. 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 DJ Hey, 